Okay, today we're going to be working with the exterior angle theorem of triangles. What does that tell us? Well, the exterior angle theorem tells us that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the measure of equal to the sum of the measures of the opposite interior angles. Now, basically, first of all, exterior that means outside. So, like those are the outside angles. I'm just going to write that out just in case you're not sure of that. And interior. <laughs> Talked a little bit about it. Oop, did not want to do that. But we talked a little bit about interior angles yesterday. And what interior angles are, they mean the angles on the inside. So I'll show you how this applies a little bit. Let's take a look at number one here. So we have an exterior angle right here. That would be 120. Now that angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So that means we're not including the one right next to it, not including that one. See how it's right next to it? We can't include that one. That one, no. Notice I put like a, maybe I shouldn't put an X there, but I'm gonna put like a, ah, not, don't wanna deal with that. However, we have two angles that are opposite this one and they aren't touching. We have question mark and we have 50. And I know if I do question mark plus 50, that's going to give me 120. That's what this theorem tells us. So how do I get the question mark alone? I'm going to subtract 50 on each side. And then I get 70 equals question mark. So that tells me that this missing angle over here is 70 degrees. And guess what? 70 plus 50 gives us that 120. Now, if you wanted to go a step further, you could. Some people do this. If you look at this angle right here, right? We look at that 120, it's on a straight line with the angle right next to it. We know that angles on a straight line equal 180. So I could also do 180 minus 120, I could get 60 degrees. And know why that works out? If I add 60, 50, and 70, I'm gonna get 180. And that is the total angle sum that we want to get for e for every triangle. It should always equal 180. So that's another way you can always check your work. I'm gonna walk you through a few more of these. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this next triangle here. Now let's see, we have an exterior angle here of 115. Notice that's outside of your triangle, 115. I'll move this on up. And then I also have two angles on the inside that don't touch it. They're opposite. Yeah. The question mark and your 50. Question mark plus 50. How do I get the question mark alone? I'm gonna subtract 50 on each side. And I get, let's see. I'm doing the math in my head pretty quick. 65. So I know that this question mark equals 65 degrees. 65 plus 50, give me that 115. And that's these are types of problems you're going to be doing today. You're going to be trying to find the measure of the exterior angle in some cases. Maybe you already know it, and you're going to have to work backwards. Take a look at number four here. We don't know this exterior angle right here. We don't know what it is. So I'm going to put, that's, that's going to be our question mark here, because we don't know what that exterior angle is. However, I do know the opposite interior angles. 25 and 80. So if I do 80 plus 25, if I add these, right, these opposite interior angles, their sum will give me the measure of that exterior angle. 80 plus 25 gives me 105. So I get my angle measure, but that question mark here is 105 degrees. All right, let's try another one of these. If you look at number five here. Now, in this case, we have the exterior angle. We're given that angle outside here. We get the 140, but we don't know this one right here. So we have question mark plus 45. Again, two angles on the inside are opposite this exterior angle. When I add these up, that should give me 140. So I'm gonna subtract 45 on each side and I get 95 degrees. So it tells me that that triangle, ah, uh, within this triangle, this question mark equals 95 degrees. So there you go, we've done numbers one, two, four, and five already. And for your homework, all you had to do is numbers one through nine. 
So I'm going to walk you through a couple more of these. And then that will leave you a couple that you can do on your own. Let's take a look. Let's try... We'll try number seven. All right, we got an angle outside of our triangle. That's the exterior angle. And then we got the two opposite interior angles. 28 plus 58. If you add 28 and 58, you're going to get 86. Which means that that angle on the outside here, this question mark, is going to equal 86 degrees. And I'm going to walk you through number 9. Number 9 is a tough one, so I'm going to help you out with this one. Now, we get our exterior angle again. We get 8 plus 6x. That's on the outside, right? That has to equal the sum of the two angles on the inside. that are opposite, which we have 30 and 4x plus 2. So these two angles, 30 plus 4x plus 2, if I add these up, that's going to give me, this. if I add those sums up, that's going to give me measure of this angle. This plus this will give me that. So now I just have to go about and solve this. Now it's going to be tricky because we got stuff going on, on both sides. Here's the first thing I always do. I want to combine my like and constant terms. Remember, you only can do that on each side. You can't cross the line here. But I got 30 and 2, so I'm going to add those and I get 32. Okay, my next step, I want to get all of the variables on one side. Or actually, before I even do that, I'm going to try and isolate the variable. So I'm going to go with the left side here. I'm going to get rid of that 8. I'm going to subtract that from each side. Now remember, you can do whatever you want to in the equation as long as you're doing it to both sides. And then, oops, 32 minus 8 will give me 24. All right, so now I get 4x plus 24 equals 6x. Now I want all the variables on one side. I've got 6x over here. I've got 4x plus 24 over here. I'm going to get rid of the 4x on this side. I'm going to do the same thing over here, and that's going to give me 2x equals 24. This is a bit easy to solve now. All we got to do is divide on each side by 2. Since I'm multiplying x by 2, we're going to divide now, and then we get x equals 12. This one was a tricky one, so I wanted to walk you through it a bit. But luckily, we did a lot of these examples today, so you're just going to be left with doing numbers 3 six and eight okay so remember you want to look to see like for number six are we given the exterior angle or are we given the interior angles we're given an exterior angle here okay so 110 that's going to equal the sum of the two opposite angles on the inside 80 plus question mark so i already set number six up for you i'll even help you out with number three Our exterior angle, we're given the question mark. Now for our interior angles, we're given the two angles, 70 plus 50. Because the sum of the two opposite interior angles will equal the sum of that exterior angle. Or not the sum of the exterior, it will equal the exterior angle. Because the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of opposite interior angles in triangles. Alright guys, best of luck with this.